always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Really lovely across West Michigan now that a line of showers and storms has quickly moved through. This line did have a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings attached to it, but now we're starting to see a return to beautiful conditions. This is a live look outside East Grand Rapids. Blue sky, still breezy, temperatures near 84. So we have seen our temps recover quite well after the line of showers and storms. We still have a few counties that are included in a severe thunderstorm watch. This is Berrien County. We also have over into St. Joseph. Branch and Cal, uh, Cass County. Uh, notice Calhoun County, Kalamazoo, and Van Buren have been expired. Now, this is all from the main line that we saw form, and it's continuing to track down to the southeast. No current warnings on this particular line to the south of West Michigan, but some heavy downpours and some flashes of lightning. When this passed through Barry County and Calhoun County, it did produce a few power outages. And now we're watching to see if any residual showers pop up. It is a possibility, although I don't think it's highly likely that any that we see form overnight tonight or uh, in through the early portion of tomorrow would be strong at all. So at most, maybe some overnight showers. And next, we're going to be transitioning over to cooler conditions. This is tonight, around 2 AM. This is when we could start to see a few residual showers push through. So some additional rain is possible. Then once we get to about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, it's blue sky, and we move into comfortable conditions. Our winds will turn and come out of the north, helping to drag down lower dew point air. This means less humidity. Temperatures will be near 80 tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. Saturday is also looking fantastic. Very comfortable, low humidity values, and it's not until Sunday that we start to turn things around and start to heat up quite a bit. Rainfall future cast shows that we don't really have too much expected overnight tonight, but next week we should have a few shower chances. So the next two days, enjoy the comfortable conditions. 80 for Friday, 81 for Saturday, back-to-back -back sunshine, and the wind should be pretty easy to take. The heat that moves in really starts to edge in Sunday, and then it should hang around for a while for us. This is due to a bowing of the air pattern up into Canada, this allows, this allows the warm air to flood in from the south to the north. What this means for us, daily highs near 90, daily lows in the 70s, and it could also trigger the lake breeze. The lake breeze is what could give us a shower chance almost every single day. So get ready for the heat. We get two days to kind of relax and get comfortable before things ramp up. I'm just glad that the line of storms that push through today push through with very minimal damage. Yeah. Right? Yes. We needed a break. We did. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Thanks Ellen. Ellen.